Alright guys, to understand uh, the minimum focal distance of any camera, uh, if you are not getting information on the website, but DJ has information on this, but for example, you want to know it, want to know it yourself, okay? So for example, you will see that I'm very close to this subject right now, and I'm going to see how far is this subject to my camera. In that way, we can understand uh, the minimum focal distance. So right now, the subject is out of focus. I bring it back now you see that the subject is in focus so you can measure it figuratively as you know half an arm distance now in that way whenever you are having a half an arm distance you can keep this into focus with a half an arm distance so you can maintain that half an arm distance and everything to keep your subject focus now same way uh, while you are vlogging or when you are taking this camera and shooting you you can maintain a half an half a arm distance okay so let, let's watch that also okay so this is too close to the osmo pocket you have to be at least half an arm distance or you can extend this to one arm distance this probably is better a uh, way to shoot compared to uh, shooting it really really close or shooting like this very close to you so subject lost okay now uh, now this is proper way to shoot it okay so keep a half an arm distance that is the folk minimum focal point for your osmo pocket so darker clothes uh, allows it not to focus properly so same thing darker background it illuminates me up but still sometimes it loses autofocus on me the face track is on the face track is on but it will lose autofocus on me so darker clothes in a darker environment like for example like this you will see that it literally doesn't know me at all because i am not facing towards the sun it needs some sort of light because the light background right now as you can see is much more lighter than my face so uh the best way to shoot for osmo is like this turn your camera around in that way it illuminates yourself and now you will see that it keeps you in focus all the single time okay and if the sun is coming this way as you can see right now the sun is coming this way and uh, you want to bring natural light bring natural light otherwise you will face autofocus problems totally all the single time okay so why is this because you're wearing darker clothes if your complexion is darker it's going to mix with the background and you will not pop up and that is the biggest problem so there is a way to avoid this is just simply make sure uh, if you are in the shade always tilt the camera from one way to the other way and talk uh, in that way what happens is that the sensor automatically brings up everything because it's you will understand one more thing also that this is not your usual DSLR you know like uh, where um, you can tweak manually everything even in the pro mode you cannot do a lot of stuff manually uh, like for example aperture shutter and all that stuff um, pictures you can but in videos there's a lot of not not a much stuff that you can do so i think this helps now uh, let's see how it performs wearing brighter clothes okay situation totally totally changes uh, when uh, for example i'm doing face track right now totally totally changes when you are wearing lighter clothes in lighter clothes what happens is that you always pop out from the background and uh, what it does is that it knows where you're located at so it means that it focuses on you all the single time uh, maintaining a focal distance of a minimum focal distance if i turn the camera all the way around you will see that though even i'm in the dark the face track actually keeps me on all the single time and uh, this lighter cloth uh, clothing does not allow me to mix in the background so um, this is a way you can understand how to differentiate your autofocus system um, even when you're walking on the shade uh, try to make sure that you're wearing something lighter in color so that you pop up and in that way your stuff is autofocused all the same okay autofocusing on a particular subject as you can see this matches with the background and uh, I will tap on this and after I tap on this I can actually do 
focusing but you will see it loses autofocus for some reason why because again remember this this is a contrast detect af and it has a minimum focal distance though i'm maintaining a uh, half hand focal distance which is the minimum focal distance it tries to focus and that contrast detect autofocus tries to lose us focus all the single time okay watch this uh, same stuff uh, minimum focal distance is one and a half half of your hand so when i bring it back and i try to focus it focuses so half a hand is your minimum focal distance and now in a half hand distance you can do auto focusing so you have to maintain that auto focusing but again watch what happens since the color of this matches the background there is a lot of focus hunting going on so since this is a contrast detect sensor sensor watch when i try to keep my hand in the in the front now when my hand is in the front it understands the difference in the texture and focuses on my hand so guys please remember this this is a contrast detect autofocus you cannot get precise autofocusing just by under if you even if you're focused out here and you want to focus on this side you will not you will see that there is continuous focus hunting going on just because it matches the background understand uh, contrast detect autofocus is that right now you will see that these colors do not match the background right and whenever i'm trying to focus or anything at a half and hand distance because that's my minimal focal point you will see that it keeps in focus even when i move my camera uh, what it matters is uh, what matters is the is the colors in the front and the back alrighty guys so, i think i could highlight you guys uh, the differences between uh, an autofocus point and what does contrast detect autofocus means and in that way uh, you will not face any sort of problem if you keep three things in mind number one is your minimum focal distance number two is what are you wearing and what is your skin tone because that matters are matters a lot though it might sound sound a little bit different but that's how contrast detect works so skin tone and the matching colors of clothes what you're wearing will keep you separated from the background when you are doing uh, auto focusing and stuff like that uh, yes uh, if you keep these two factors in your mind you will not face autofocus problems with any sort of cameras now Osmo pocket is an amazing camera and I don't want you to guys to give up once you have made the purchase just because uh, the contrast detect autofocus is something like that that analyzes the contrast of the colors that you are wearing compared to your background so if you understand that give me a big big thumbs up like and do subscribe to this channel because in this channel we try to present you unique opinions unique uh, presentations uh, that will make you better understand your product and will actually improve your life and your lifestyle so take care uh, from opinions matter saying ciao